Hello gamers and welcome to some more Field of Glory Kingdoms review content. The game will be released on 4th of June and after having shown you the tutorial and also playing through the LC scenario I want to show you the grand campaign. So basically there's multiplayer as well. You've got um, yeah, challenges and everything. Then you've got scenarios. Tutorial and then the LC. Uh, the Grand Campaign, the Mansi Card, a 40 turn scenario for 1 to 3 players, and then a 58 uh, scenario ideal for 1 to 3 players as well. Uh, what I want to do is show you the Grand Campaign though that starts in 1054 AD already. And this is the grand campaign for the game with a staggering 440 turns. Complexity and length are really high. Um, but this won't be a playthrough. This will just be, you know, like a, like a showcase uh, teaser video of sorts. But I think that as soon as I've got a little bit more time and covered other games as well, also some from Slytherin, uh, it's very likely that I will do what, some of those shorter scenarios. Um, but now let's jump into the grand campaign on balance difficulty. In the uh, LC campaign, I campaign I played uh, Leon, so we're not going to play on the Iberian Peninsula. I watched. Uh, some nice uh, gameplay on the Slytherin channel as well, where they played uh, Brittany. And you will see in a second that the map is really huge. If you uh, have not seen other content, this is basically a grand strategy game. And you can combine it with Field of Glory 2 Medieval. And fight the tactical battles on your own. Which I think is a really cool touch. There used to be a football manager game in Germany called Anstoß uh, 3, Kick Off 3. And you can, could combine it with Anstoß Action and play on your own. Okay. Now this is... This is... Quite the world. We have a ton of options uh, to choose from. Major nations... Byzantine Empire is still standing strong. Holy Roman Empire. Duchy of Saxony. Bohemia. What is this? Lusatian. Swabia. Bavaria and so on. So you get major nations. Venice could be interesting. I want to play that in my EU4 for review with the new DLC. And you've got remarkable factions like Smolensk, Novgorod, Aquitaine. Anjou. There's Britannia, Brittany, and Normandy could be interesting as well. Ruler is William the Conqueror. So basically it's before 166, obviously. Actually quite an interesting, could be an interesting pick. Also I'm interested in playing Wales. We've got the Heubath and Morganok. Celtic Independence the fifth. Um, interesting. Um, <laughs> obviously Italy looks quite interesting as well. With like Tuscany, for example. You could play the as the Pope, or at least with the Papal States. 
Embark on an epic 440 turn journey across the full map. Suitable for 1 to 16 players. Choose from numerous nations, each with its own challenges and opportunities. Brace yourself for the unexpected as you navigate through the twists and turns of medieval history. The path of glory path to glory is fraught with peril. But those who are brave and resourceful will reap the rewards. Will you be the one to emerge victorious from the chaos of medieval Europe? How difficult is normally? Difficulty is rather low. Interest is really high. It's also a remarkable faction. Wales is also remarkable. Also difficulty rather easy, interest high. As Wales, you probably need to expand it to the into Ireland. Plus England obviously is quite large. And we've got Northumbria as a separate faction actually. Some Scottish stuff here. Hmm. Tempted to pick Brittany also interesting. Pick normally or Wales. Griffith up Hluwilin. Let's play in Wales. It's a place where I spend a lot of my time. And that's where I did my PhD as well. So lots of font memories. Some lots of font memories concerning council tax. And not so font experiences, but yeah. Let's play as Wales for this showcase. Wales in 1054 was mountainous uh, country in Western England. Well, this is Wales, it's not Western England, is it? Which was never fully Romanized. But there's, for example, um, here, roughly here is Carnarfon. This is where, this was an English settlement. And um, after the occupation. And there is what well, it was a Roman town already, and there was a Roman fort um, called Sigontium. You can visit it. Though never fully unified, they managed to resist, owing only nominal fealty to the Anglo Saxon kings to the east. This all changed in 1066. While the Normans managed to quickly overrun most of England after the Battle of Hastings. Due to cultural differences and their propensity to revolt Wales, proved to be a tougher nut to crack. Rather than spend precious men and resources that were needed barely elsewhere in England and in France, William I opted to incentivize his vassals to deal with the problem. The Marcher Lords uh, were Norman barons who were granted land holdings on the border with Wales. These thieves had no defined western borders and it was understood that any Welsh lands they conquered would be theirs to keep. Over the decades, Wales was gradually absorbed by these independent warlords, until by the late 13th century the only kingdom that remained was that of Gwyneth in the northwest, which is basically kind of like this area now. Um, helped by the rugged terrain in the area around Snowdonia. Yeah. The Welsh were uh, still quite uh, formidable defensively and it took a final great royal effort by Edward I to eventually extinguish this last ember of Welsh independence. As a gesture of consolation, however, Edward des designated his eldest son as the Prince of Wales, which is still a valid thing today. Having promised the Welsh that the new prince could speak no English, a tradition that continues in the British monarchy to this day. It should be noted that the child was less than one year old at the time, so could speak neither English or Welsh. That's very smart, obviously. And um, Prince Charles was actually uh, crowned Prince of Wales in Carnarfon Castle. Um, oh, Carnarfon is here. Okay. Well, the map is not quite correct, to be honest, because Carnarfon is definitely not so far away from Anglesey. It is basically at the beginning of the strait, more or less. The, this is the Menai Strait. So Carnarfon would be roughly here. 
and surely not here. Here's already another castle called Bumeris Castle. And then you get Bangor kind of here. And uh, there's no castle, there's only Penguin Castle, which is not a castle, it's like a 19th century rich man's dream, but very much worth a visit. And then you get uh, Conwy Castle would then be the next one. Here you've got here you've got Cricket Castle roughly here. No, here. Uh, I think here. And down here you've got Halech Castle. Um, I like that they have a have a text like that everywhere, I presume. To set the scene, so that's really cool. Okay, let's start as Wales. Gameplay advice. Okay, to begin with, it's crucial to ensure that your treasury is not losing an excessive amount of money. Okay, this is actually a general gameplay advice uh, that's um, that's been given in the LC campaign as well. Uh, also, there's a manual, or there will be a manual available for everyone, and it's more than 300 pages and really, really good. I couldn't really deeply dive into it due to time constraints, but I browsed through it, checked some stuff, and I think it's really cool. So here, just because you might not have watched my other video, this is our money, really important. And uh, we need to build uh, buildings, in particular in order to increase the manpower. Diplomacy. We have a vessel here. Can we actually kind of... We could ask them to seed the region or the province. So basically... Um, let's end diplomacy. Uh, so this, for example, is... Um, uh, where is it? We can, this is the region Gwyneth, and the province is, I presume Gwyneth as well. Okay, North Wales, Gwyneth, uh, let me think, Anglesey, North Wales, Gwyneth, North Wales, yeah. So North Wales is the is the region, and then um, this is the Gwyneth is the province. Or is it the other way around? Region is Gwyneth. Okay, region is Gwyneth, province is North Wales. Now in the let's also check the ledger. I can show you here name. Okay, domain is North Wales. So. Province is North Wales. And Poes. Okay. It's down here. Let me think what we do next. We take a look at the ledger. I think this is really important. Uh, you can't sort the build it, the um, columns by clicking here, but you can sort them by clicking here and choosing what you want to sort by. You can filter only whales, you can also go for others, you can go for allies, you can go for enemies, we don't have enemies, neutral would be a lot. Uh, here we can see what they produce, kind of, and we see there are open construction slots. We want to uh, build stuff everywhere. So let's start. They already have a pigsty in the Traders Borough. They have and with lots of mining, clay, copper mine. They are more like wood and farm. And this is actually, historically, is uh, like lots of uh, agricultural land here, farming. Let's take a look. You automatically get a selection of six. In the six categories, you get one option, but you can also spend authority, this resource, um, in order to choose something else. But I want to go for the farm. This will also increase food. This will also increase population. Apparently it will grow in 19 turns, which is quite a lot. 
I won't click here because I'm not quite sure if I lose authority already. No, I don't. Okay. Authority cost is limited to a maximum of 5, 7, 10 points. Standard building, national wonder, world wonder. Cost is reimbursed if you cancel. Okay, that's good. And here now, you, this information I think is new. It, I played the uh, SID campaign on, a, on an earlier build. And here you can see all the different categories that we can build in uh, right now. Um, but we will pick something that is uh, given to us because it's going to be helpful. It's the farm. You can uh, redistribute like in Imperator Rome, for example, you can change that, but um, you can change it to everywhere. So we can, we can only put those, um, those, uh, those guys, the free men to those mer uh, merchant buildings or commercial buildings. And um, yeah, church buildings will be here. You, there's no queue. Uh, so you can always only pick one thing. So in Gwyneth, where I've got lots of friends still, um, we can't build anything because they've reached the maximum. They need more population so that we could build something else. Mm, here, this guy produces infrastructure. Base infrastructure, production structures, infrastructure upkeep is eight. And we still gain some infrastructure. I'm not sure what the, I would have to check the manual, what the infrastructure production actually gives us, you know, a higher infrastructure value. So we could change him for, to money making, which would increase our income. Let's leave him here for now. Um, in Pervedulat, oh, we could build a bakery, pigsty, craftsman borough. Hmm. Here you can always see the changes that will occur here, and here you can see missing bonuses. Astronomer would increase our legacy quite a bit. We, we would miss some bonuses though. We are, we are creating 38 piety in the region. So we go for food, needs grain. Protected settlements, not usually at zero, but it's temporary. I'm inclined to go for this because can be imported from Gwyneth. There's trade as well in the game. I will show you in a second. Yeah, I will go for astronomer study because I want that legacy increase. Legacy is kind of like, um, like the 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 rating. The one with most legacy wins. So let me show you trading. Here we can see. We are manufacturing some goods. We have some local commodities that might be imported and we're missing some bonuses. But a wooden church. Um, wood generate religious craftsmanship is needed. These regions loyal, they, they are loyal. They are loyal. What does that symbol mean? I think it means trade route, presumably. This seems to be imported. Yeah, you need, can check out a ton of stuff here. It's a really, really complex game. And finally, we've got Poets. They've got a pigsty and a trader's burrow. No, we don't have honey and wax. We can't trade it. A discrete hamlet. It's uh, temporary. I don't like that. Wooden church. This would give us stewardship. Mm, and stewardship helps with um, loyalty as well. Let's see here, 
Piety and Loyal, I think they does, doesn't it? Stewardship. Okay, they can tr trigger temporary loyalty increase. Yeah, I think we'll go for the town. Cr well, this is going to take ages. Everything else as well. Or we go for the legume, legumes farm. Well, let's go for some stewardship, but we need to speed things up a bit. 11 turns, that's too much. No, we need to, ch we need to get more people in right away. Seven turns is better. Okay. Now then, let's double check in the ledger. We've got everything covered. And I do want to capture this. Morganuk. Okay. Info. Okay, we can actually go. Regional panel. Uh, da, da, da. Good ship. Most of the by noble population, along with pirate, contributes to the gain of legacy. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now let's go for diplomacy. And. I think I can't interact with them somehow. Here we've got, by the way, regional decisions. Our army is currently not so great. Now, how can I declare war on you? Maybe I can't. Griffith has a low, low loyalty. Okay, we actually need a governor, a peer of the realm. Omoric oh, is a really good leader. Offense rating one, zero, defense rating one, deep pockets. Money used to recruit units when seceding increased by 25. We do have better options, I think. Personal retinue, bodyguard efficiency increased by plus five points. This ain't bad. Moirik. No. What about Griffith? He's a noble and a brother. And this, he has a stewardship bonus. Let's go for him. Then with regards to so apparently in South Wales we can change that maybe we don't own enough parts of South Wales but we do in North Wales he's cruel that's bad his charismatic regional loyalty bonus increased and stewardship bonus and good administration. Let's pick him. The military helps with recruiting. Yeah, the military recruitment is also like on a on a province level. Welsh mercenary footman. And they do have flanking. Let's get one of them. And maybe one more noble cavalry. Okay. 
I think I will end this turn. Let's take a quick look at our nation panel. We have stable march. We've got a march a lot. Griffith up. We still don't have march a lot in Morik. And so legacy, realm trades, minor western feudal state, late Welsh culture, budget bonus, low military experience, faction modifier, that's bad. Liberator and focused. We don't have any claims. Ah, uh, we need to manufacture a claim first, I guess. So let's end the turn. Maybe with a regional decision. You get a re new regional decision every turn. And the turn time has increased, obviously, now in comparison to the uh, SID campaign. And in particular, on my old, really old computer, CPU is like 10, more than 10 years old. Okay, now AI. You can also change your status to upgrade it, but that will decrease uh, loyalty a bit in the region. So you need to time your progress. Our nation has started regressing. The prestige of our dynasty is much too humble for our, your grandiose schemes. Okay, we tr we've reached a disorder tier. That doesn't sound good. We are in the bottom tier. This is really bad. I mean, we've got 11 peasants, 4 freemen, 3 clergy and 4 nobles. I think there are now also more information than in the previous build. That's really, really good. Metals are overflowing. Metals is another resource. We did not gain any, any notifications here. So we can't manufacture a claim just yet. We haven't finished any buildings yet. We can't build anything here. We get growth in 18 turns, 15 turns, 21 turns, 68 turns. They are building a farm, that's good. This is a really chilly, chilling start, to be honest. I'm not quite sure how we could how could we... Yeah, you can click here, Requesting Seed Region. This would cost us something. What is BP? Is that a war score of sorts? Target Nation has no valid province. Discharge card changes, yes. Okay. Now then, let's end this turn. Oh, bloody hell. What is this notification there on the hammer? I think it was the decreasing information. You get not notification pop-ups on your uh, regions. And there can be multiple. So you could have finished the building and the population growth, for example, and the revolt risk or whatnot. And then at the top left, where you see I've got those disloyal uh, people. This is also something that can happen. Let you get some information there. Now then, 
just quickly click the video that I need to publish, Men of War 2. It was prepared already, but it was still processing. Okay, live. I've got three screens, so I've got everything covered. Uh, tier 3 live is pleasant in Pervedulat. And Craftsman lent a hand to speed up the ongoing construction. Four infrastructure points are added. This is good. I feel like a new regional decision out of Siege. Yeah. I mean, we could also recruit here. Oh, that will allow us the recruitment of armored noble cavalry. But financially, I think we cannot afford it right now. Hmm. I think we need to move him down here. I would love to move him, but we can't. How much could we speed things up here? Only one turn. It's not really worth it. And... Yeah, this... And here we can see, like, everything in an overview, which is cool. Oh, we can actually automatically... Change things around. Interesting. Okay, but I now messed everything up here. No peasant has to go here, you have to go here. You can click through as well, which is good. This is okay. Growth is really slow though, but I think we could do with the extra coin as well. Same here, and we actually don't need him working on infrastructure. We do it like so. Okay, there we go. And you know what I think I'll do? I will pause the terms i think it's not so interesting you've seen how long it roughly takes so i'll just pause and consider that my computer is really old and here we are again okay customs officials expand royal revenue collection efforts in our vessels land this is interesting. Let's do that. To expand our coffers, we should consider employing more customs officials and other royal revenue collectors in Dehoibath. Madoc is the staunch ally, so hopefully we'll not be too put out th about this. Now, is he a loyal fellow? You can always, you know, change around your, your windows, which is really nice. Need to get here. What's your loyalty? Twenty six relation. Yeah, let's send in tax collectors. The realm rejoices in the birth of Moirik, son of Griffith ab Llywelyn, and potential heir to the family legacy. Fantastic. Authority and disorder. This is really painful. We need to increase our legacy. And we also get higher chances of getting regional decisions and stuff, I think. Potentially. Draft Levies is now available. Got this twice. 
but we don't need it right now. What we need is the ability to declare war on them, but we can't. And here comes the next turn. I'm gonna pause and you can see authority minus two really really bad land authority change is 0 0.9 though additional changes from last turn's events we have a required immensely size for realm changes five and for authority gain, the max size is 3. My lord, a powerful group of bandits in the Hyvath killed the tax collector and his retinue. And this, this is outrageous. Okay, this is why we lost so much. Authority. But I don't think it gives us reason to declare on them. Okay, but it was bandits, so not much we can do about it. And we're not having any progress yet here, but we will soon. So let's end the turn. Obviously, um, the more or the bigger your country is, the more you have to do. And the more people who are maybe fighting with are around you, the more you will have to do. Where's this army going? Mercia, it's probably going to stay there, I hope. And uh, we are going to... Move our armies and group them. Merge them. Don't think there's an your army has been built notification, right? There's also Prussia. We lost one legacy point, one authority point. We really need to try to get an authority building of sorts. So here you can see we've got this army. We move them here now, and then we can merge them next turn. We have received a new regional decision, forage the land. We'll restore one effectiveness to troops having none left, ensuring the removal of the uh, exhausted penalty in battle. That's cool, actually. But we don't need it. We are not at war. Wales has received a disorder token. It's now standing at minus one disorder token, so that's bad. And yeah, nothing obviously has finished. Who's this loyal? Griffith has a loyalty. Isn't he my army leader? Yeah. Can we interact with him? Maybe we should change him out. Well, loyalty 35 ain't too great, right? Still like a, a character ledger of sorts, yes. Sort by loyalty. Now we we do sort by loyalty, but the loyal yeah, there's the loyalty, and sometimes the loyalty is hidden. Yeah, thirty-five ain't the greatest loyalty. He's our governor. Let's put him in charge of the army, our uncle. He might have better loyalty, I don't know.
There we go. And let's end the turn. And here we are again. This time no authority change. That's good for us. Crush unrest. One of your vessel lands has dangerously low loyalty and is either in or teetering on the brink of unrest. This is not good. Um, should we send in forces to quell the discontent? Medoc is a close support of the realm and would perhaps appreciate the assistance. Yeah, let's do it. Let's merge these dudes. And actually rename this army... Uh... Okay, and send them in here. I'm not sure if that helps. My lord, we have heard rumors that uh, Griffith seems to be an unreliable individual scheming behind our backs. It would be best to have a loyal general with troops in the capital. Extra bodyguards would also be beneficial. You have received a new regional decision. Spy on nobility. That's actually a good thing. If played against a peer of the realm governing a province, increase your knowledge of the, his loyalty. If a player, if player in your capital region, if played in your capital region, increase the knowledge of the loyalty of two nobles by 26. Okay. It's gonna cost us 50 coin though. Which one is actually our capital region? Presumably this. Oh, we did actually finish the astronomer study, which is so cool because we're now getting legacy points. What is on offer here? Sheep, our shepherd house for wool production. That's very Welsh. And also food production, a wise woman hut. Candle shop. Pilgrim's refuge. It's nice, it also gives um, legacy and a lot of piety actually. Conqueror or Storyteller also increases legacy. I think I want to increase the food production first so that we get more growth. It's going to take three turns without anyone and so it's going to take four. We lose a lot of turns on population growth though, uh, though so let's do it like so. And yeah, which is my capital? How do I know? Uh, how do I do that? To diplomacy? Nothing we can do. Don't see actions. War. Peace Alliance Corporation. Well, it's just an overview, but how can I interact with them? I did it in the scenario, but I can't seem to find an option here. If we interact with them, here we could. And maybe we can't because they are feudal, kind of, like a Celtic, kind of. Northumbria. Maybe we can go for a cooperation treaty with England. I 
let's try. Yeah, and they are a thief them, so maybe that's why we can't do anything. If this doesn't, if they are not needed, if our army is not needed in the high bath, the high bath, then we're going to move them into this thief them and see what happens. Okay, no change here. We still have one bad token. Okay, nothing is happening here. Crush the unrest. The discontent here is more widespread than we imagined and sadly continues to fester. To make matters worse, Malak of the High Bath resents our intrusion and relations have decreased. This is bad. Insulting and can provide us with a claim. Yeah, I'm, I did everything incorrect, like with the text. Guys, I started something really poor. We can get a mercenary company. I think this must be our... our Our headquarters it's so filled up. There's a noble residence. It's the domain court. I think this is the of Seneschal, the overlord. Hmm. Yeah, let's play the spy card. See what's going on. And Queen of the competent noble with authority has ordered the construction of a refuge in Wales in an effort to fortify. Yeah, that would be here. It's only one turn. And we can't change it. The military building. And it's actually interesting because I don't know how they managed to be able to build something here. Okay, like so. We're going to move them here and see what's going to happen. They're independent and our enemy. Oh, I see. Okay, they're actually our enemy. Uh, it does not say so on this. But, well. Consulting the manual is advisable. I think we're going to fight now. Uh, I don't want to fight the battle manually because it's quite close with regards to combat power, so we're going to view the battle. Check out my earlier videos of my um, El Cid campaign where I try to win some battles. I also watched some tutorials on Samstra Games, a really good channel. Samstra Games, check it out. She does cover lots of good games and it's quite knowledgeable, I think, so it's really helpful. Um, and yeah, but I want to mainly show this game now, so I won't launch the other one. Um, because how it works, you export the battle, close this game automatically basically, then the other game starts, you import the battle, uh, fight the battle, export the battle, and then here you import it again. Okay, this is, this is bad. They have a massive terrain bonus. I think we will lose out. Okay, the, here we did well. The Welsh mercenary footman is really bad. Ritonic foot, much better. Here we also have the edge. So the way it works, um, you have a rating, in this case it's 7 for the enemy, because he's got a basic combat rating of 3, a support bonus by of 3, and then a terrain defense bonus of 1, adding up to 7. We've got 8, because we've got 6 combat rating here for the cavalry, 
one support bottles and we are charging in open field. Uh, then you get a certain number of rolls. The number of rolls, it could be three as well. Um, and we have a five minimum roll, which is nice. So we rolled less, but it was given a five possibly. Maybe we rolled less, but the, we also rolled a 10. I think it's a D10, not quite sure. Um, and I think the support bonus probably comes from the leader. Um, because he has one offensive rating and also one defensive rating. And then this is added to this and it goes up to 18 and then we dish out some damage. Um, yeah, it was pretty even. You can see the dropped uh, values here. So this guy has less health but more effectiveness. The minimum roll is three. Strong is also the best they can be. Okay, we roll really, really poorly and lose our cavalry. That's very bad. We rolled okay. Got some skirmishers. I mean, in addition to the army, they also have a gar garrison. And who's going to pursue whom now? I hope we are going to pursue them. Yes. We killed more than they did, so it's good. And we won the battle. Yeah, we lost the Welsh mercenary footman. That's the one we actually bought. And we lost one noble cavalry as well, unfortunately. Um, but this is now Welsh. It's really important because they could have invaded easily. So I gave them the move for at the end of my turn and then it is carried out afterwards. So there are lots of hundreds of thousands of units walking around on the map right now. Obviously taking a little bit of time. And we get a plus one here. That is interesting. The good thing is, while it's loading, we can still do some stuff. Special, but why? Presumably because of the one battle. Okay, we have a new regional decision. Reinforce a march. Border, well, we can't afford that 100 coin. Well, we could now, we plundered. A border region, sometimes called a march, will see its defenses strengthened. The effects can vary, but will often include a fortified settlement and, if not possible, extra fortification levels. If the population is eight or more, some peasants will be rounded up to serve as militia. Region must be owned and region must have at least one noble population. Which we do have here. This is actually quite interesting. I think I want to try that out. Also, we now have um, the province and can, um, can give them a peer. He's a craven, unfortunately. But he's bad for battle, but doesn't mean he's a bad administrator. Dingy. Money used to recruit units when the seeding decreased by 23, but upkeep increased. I don't like that. Deep pockets. Money used to recruit units when the seeding increased. The willing. I think we're going for the Craven. It doesn't matter that he gives a movement penalty and so on. Tech ward. Um. Yeah, you can here, you can basically specialize your provinces. Which I think is pretty cool. They kind of come together also for like trade and stuff and manpower pool, recruitment buildings and the likes. So a battle has been fought, we won. And we conquered it.
Are there more of those fiefdoms? Yes, here. Celtic independent fiefdom, they are an enemy to us. But could we get there without a ship? I don't... Well, well, well. It seems as if we could. The garrison with militia defense. And we don't have much combat power left. I think we'll just sit it out a little bit. We need to probably replenish a bit. Yeah, look at this effectiveness zero for one of those. Yeah, they gain experience as well, which is cool. So many details. And now we have formed the South Wales domain. Yeah, obviously. We already have a here. Now, oh, oh no, I don't want to click. What I want to click is uh, what they are building here in Morgano. A crude smelt has been requested in this region. Yeah, then they can have it. Who is a bit low? Let's put him here. And let's go for the regional decision. Reinforce a march. 25, yeah, we've got the resources. Cost will be deducted once it triggers. It has not uh, triggered yet. We'll see what happens next turn. England rejected our offer, unfortunately, from the grip of. Okay, we won this. What is here? My lord, some of our levies like Britonic food are hastily levied. We should try to have more units enhancing buildings like a spear maker. One of our spies has conducted a thorough exploration of Angharad's whereabouts. We know where his loyalty lies. We have learned some interesting facts about Myrick and his loyalty to our cause. Um, a powerful noble died in Gwyneth and belonging worth 50 money were seized. Nice. Farm has been completed in Anglesey. Now you can see we've got plus 11 food, so growth in 7 turns. Um, I think we could... We, an anchorage might be nice. Siege, resist, money. Boarding costs nothing. No effectiveness loss. This is actually quite important. Sheltered inlet. Lift fog of war in the adjacent area, also nice. Village screen also not too bad. Poultry farm for food and money. I think I'll go for the anchorage. Anchorage on Anglesey. Oh no, we have an anchorage here already. Then let's go for the food. Refuge is being requested and still being built, but I do want some of you guys here. Nonetheless, maybe even some more. Only one turn here. We're still getting enough coin. It's good. This region alone gives us, I'm oh, sorry, 27. This one gives us four. Okay. Yeah, this is where we have an anchorage. Okay, okay. No more anchorages anywhere. Let's move them to here. Let's move them to Gwyneth, actually, in case we want to uh, set sail. Stormy Ocean. Oh, let's actually take a look at the characters again. Inherit. Noble and spouse, so we know their loyalty now. Probably it was our spouse, maybe the courtesan. But they like us, so that's good. And the other dude, Myrick, not so super noble, it seems. 
uh, loyal, not so super loyal. Okay. Okay, here we go. We stand at two authority. Some stuff has happened. As you can see, things start happening now. A crude smelter has been completed. A fortified village has been completed. Wales is strengthening the defense of this region. In in the region of uh, Morganuk. This is really helpful. Crude smelter is yeah, higher than plowing a field. What exactly does it do? Health penalty and regional loyalty penalty, unfortunately. Your one infrastructure and healthcare building can be upgraded to Bloomery. It's iron ore. Well, this produces metal. Our metal output has increased quite a bit. And here we've got the fortified village. Food bonus, 15%. Nice. This is actually really good. Each resist, garrison. Helpful. A well is nice because it gives health and infrastructure and siege resist and a health bonus. Local watch is a bit costly, needs wool trading required. Watch and teller or alarm bell. I think I'll go for the well. Mm. Wales from South Wales, leg legumes farm has been completed. Really good for the food production and thus for the growth. Should we add a cattle ranch? This would be good for coin, a wood cutting. Wood is apparently OP a little bit. Let's go, let's go for wood cutting then. Single nearby structure would produce more expected base change and it also produces wood. Let's go for it. Seven turns. Can we speed that up? No. Okay. And the refuge has been completed and we have re uh, received a new regional decision. Send counselor. No building is under construction, the maximum number is reached. Okay. You all go to food production, please. Okay. Um, regional decision. And Councillor, you'll send one of your advisors, or is he a spy, to assist the peer of the realm in charge of one of your domain's province. This will boost uh, lo his loyalty and might even increase one of his ratings. Let's do it. Cost authority, though. Let's not do it just yet. End the turn. All right, here we go. But you went up to three. That's good. Oh no, the health of Marcha Lord Griffith of Cleverlin, age 62, has degraded to average. I have a 20% chance to receive a disorder token. We really must do something about this. Um. They are recovering effectiveness, which is good. From peasants to free men. We'll promote one peasant to free men. In doing so, 35 money will be gained. Not too bad. But not needed right now. They finished the well so this was a really fast construction they don't have any uh, they don't have any uh, food production building yet so we need one 
In my opinion, some food production is always needed. It's medieval times. We need to produce food. We could maybe get some more troops. There must, okay, using this regional decisions will be able to get between one and four provincial units depending on their strength if there's no formed province here these units will not be mercenaries in contrast to the ones recruited through the recruitment queue okay and what about the recruit non-standard units using this decision will be able to get some non-standard units from the region owner if the target nation has any available in its roster. Usually the exact unit type will be less, the less prevalent one in your current army. Non-standard units are very diverse and range from specialized troops to elite guards to fighting slaves or brigands. This decision allows the recruitment of armored noble cavalry. I think this would be really helpful and also we have the no, we don't have the manpower for it, unfortunately. Uh, military upkeep is 25, intrinsic production is only 21. We need to increase manpower production. Urgently. Here we are again. So, here in the authority ranking, you can see that it would be nice to go to authority 14 at the moment to get out of the red and then currently 21 to get into the green in the legacy racing rating legacy um, ranking we are placed 109. Wales is unable to draft enough men for its army one unit reports they are missing some soldiers yeah that's a shame and several signs tell us that the next few months will be particularly harsh for men and crops that's bad Uh, we haven't finished any buildings. Currently you can't see how lo how many turns it needs to finish a building. Yeah, you need to um uh you need to uh, get the tool to and I suggested you change that so that you can always see you know, make a column here for for that. Next turn we might have a chance and to do something good here. And nine units. I mean we our um, power is sixty only. Yeah, I'm not inclined to take it and we're losing so much manpower. This is so bad. Let's see what happens next turn. So the two things we need most are manpower and authority. That can be said for certain. Um, we have received a new regional decision, draft ladies. Uh, won't help us much without manpower. But we could get a mercenary company. And then that would help us to attack. And get a foothold. In Ireland. Let's play this out. Still minus seven, it's really bad. And we finish the Shepherd House here. Let's see what's being offered. A pigsty. This will produce metal. Local market for money mainly. Est fortune teller. Or the storyteller for legacy increase, and it's all not that great. The legacy won't help us. I mean, if we don't 
get enough legacy, it'll be bad in the long run in case we want to, you know, play for the title. But this gives money and food. I think this is right now more important. Let's see if we can speed things up a bit. Four. Still four. Three, but we lose too much. Here we go. Can you actually work here? No. Can you work there? Yes, you can. And you don't produce stewardship, but you produce equipment. Which gives us some coin. Equipment production. Stockpile is already maxed out. I think this is what we need to get units. Yeah. And storing is maxed out, so actually you need to then switch to the region and check the stockpile. I think it would be good to see uh, the stock top stockpile here as well. Take a look at the ledger. Poultry farm in one turn. Here we go. Okay. Five legacy. Uh, sorry, five authority. Yay. But obviously the others are doing stuff as well and they are up to 16. Still 109th rank with regards to legacy. A daughter is born. Myrick is the new daughter of Griffith up Cleveland. Hopefully the line of succession won't suffer from this. Hmm. <laughs> With Wales suffering from internal tensions, the Lord Gwyneth, Lord of Gwyneth has called for the immediate construction of a sunken opening. Okay, uh, this is uh, a defensive measure. Current stockpile 58. Okay, we can stockpile infrastructure as well, apparently. Maybe. Stockpile 58. I wonder why this is always changing. Resupply per turn because of the refuge stockpile. This is also like a temporary measure only. Building slots 8 out of 7. Now what else do we have? Yep. Recruit local units is a new decision. Holy shit, what the hell is going on here? Unable to draft enough men, unable to properly pay its army and 12 units report deserters. Exact loyalty known, that's good. Poultry farm has been finished. What's wrong with our coin? Oh, it's a regional decision cost. We've got some fantastic units, but that was quite costly. And it's taking a heavy toll. So I might have just ruined the run. Yeah, obviously they can't work down here. Ha ha ha. They can't build anyway. It's miles away. It turns here. Need to go for some money.
and provincial unit. Okay, that's cool. Um, we need to do the from peasant to freeman decision. It costs money though, but we need to do it if we can. Can we somehow get money from someone wealthy maybe, for example? This overview is really nice, to be honest. Poultry farm, did I put something here already? I think I did not. Anglesey is full. It's growth in four turns. You guys need to merge. Army is now rather powerful. We're going to send it camp, camp conquer Desmond. If possible. Oh my god. Can we ask you for a credit or something? Or for a gift? Transaction. Well, we could give them some metal. And we could ask to them to give us money, right? This is BP6. So this would be 120. Transaction chance is 13%. How about 60? Not much better. Let's go for 120. We need to we need to try. Okay, here we go. Okay. I mean it's on the way, but this is going to be really dreadful now. Clergy's in the red, placing freemen or even clergy in commerce. Industrial monks. Industrious monks. Selling regional decisions. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we got a disorder token as well. Attract migrants. That's good. But we don't have the coin. We can sell decisions. How do we do that? Control right click to recoup. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we end the positives ish. Um, let's go through our uh, regions. Okay. Angle seam. And here we do have him. He can. But he won't. The knights will. How tall is our army still? Comet power is 28. Yeah, like that we cannot fight at all, that's for sure.
12 coin, that's not too bad. But look at the uh, loyalty and stuff. This is bad for loyalty, really bad. Not like we have a chance, other chance. So second opening has been completed, but that's all. We can't do anything else. And it's not even shown. That's a bit weird. Okay. Now we do have... Did I play this? Acuma, yeah, we, I did play this, okay. We need these guys working on the farm. Okay, let's end the turn. It's interesting to see how I basically destroyed everything with a poor decision here. Merchants in Morgano complain about extortion by the pair of the realm. We don't know if it's true. We can assassinate a peer. Target peer of the realm, including one of a neighbor, will be subject to an assassination attempt. But it costs authority, which we can't afford. Let's sell it. Attract migrants is obviously very tempting. But yeah, and we don't have 10 freemen population. Wait. Each naming region. Okay. With a loyalty under 25, 75 might see the freemen chains will vary. We have some deserters, our envoys have returned and told us they rejected our offer. Woodcutting has been finished. This gives little money. No money. Hmm. Buy a team or a village screen for food and money. It'll be removed when the population reaches 20 or higher. This is still quite a bit away, but it's going to take a lot, a lot of turns. In South Wales, we can produce maybe the honey stuff. Let's go for the village queen. It also gives loyalty. And that's more important than growth. So here we go. And I wonder if the comet value was so poor because they did not have, because they were basically a ship. So let's try. Also, I want to prevent to get into the miners. Let's. Sell, motivate troop. Well, that hardly brings anything. Uh, yeah, let's sell this. Let's also sell attract migrants. Not like we have much of a choice after my stupid decision to uh, recruit those uh, very good units. Okay, seven authority number one hundred seven. With regards to legacy, we are starting to overtake some. I think. Uh, you can check somewhere. Oh my goodness, minus 80 now. Because of the ship, I guess. But we need to get through that. Here we can see the income as well, which I think is really cool. So we have more income than some that are ahead of us. With regards to authority, Our gain 
Ain't great. We forfeit claim. Use reduce the odds of having this decision. Shift right click to reduce the odds. Shift left click to increase the odds. And play a monetary cost. Let's just sell this. We need the coins. Uh, no building has been finished. Unfortunately. Oh no, some. Oh no, we have some population growth on Anglesey. Morgano has finished something. Okay, Pigsty has been finished. That's really good for the growth. And this will would bring even more food. Surface iron ore mining. A single nearby structure would produce more. Expected base changes. Money 14. But manpower would be reduced. Anchorage. Stable. This would give manpower, but it's uh, really shitty places for turns. Yeah, let's go for the surface iron mine. Also, there's lots of mining stuff going on here already, like a crude smelter. And it's only one, uh, two turns to build. And we just make it one. No. Are you actually needed? No. So you go for food. And then Anglesey has a population growth, and that means uh, we have a building slot. Town cry for stewardship. Wooden church for piety, including a bonus from wood. Traders borrow for money, but missing quite a few bonuses. It's also a milestone structure. Yeah, we need to go for the trader place. We need the coin. This will be complete in one turn, the pig style. That's good. 15 turns, though, on Anglesey. That's a long, a lot. This is something we need to change, obviously. Nine. Yeah, to nine. And then we have a po population growth in the same turn. That's actually really good. So, customs officials expand royal revenue collection efforts in our vessels' lands. Yeah, we need to try that. Again. Civil war is erupted. This is bad. Morgan has arrived at the court. Ed Nivet in St. George Channel is revolting with his army against Wales. Oh no. He was supposed to give us this uh, territory, but the good thing is we've got now a lot of income. We have no army left. Yeah, and he builds a reinforced gate, that's actually a good idea. And he stole our army. Call to arms decision. Luckily, it's fitting. Receive 100 equipment points, but the penalizing modifier will be applied for the following 12 turns. Not sure I want that. Your worth is offering his services. Now, then, who is that? Overflowing even. Can we maybe trade with England?
If metal, let's say 40. But we do want money. Well, they don't like that idea. Yeah, they don't like it. Okay. Life is pleasant. A construction infrastructure points added. Offering his services. Offering his services. Customs officials. Call to arms. Big stay has been built as well. Now they are full. Okay, we need him to maintain infrastructure. Our nobles can go back to not doing money stuff. Okay, and we're going to need an army. Great tonic foot is actually really good. This is still his ground, right? Welsh mercenary footman is steady, which is also pretty cool. He can't flank. It's less hits, but it's much, much cheaper. Uh, let's go for them. Go for six of them. Let's go for four. And here we can get the Welsh mercenary longbowmen. They are quite costly. Early light javelin. They are quite cheap. Let's get two, three, four. Yeah, here we can see the equipment going down. Okay, this is going to be it. One turn. Okay, here we go. All right, we had a penalty hit, an authority penalty. Presumably because of the civil war, which doesn't sit well, I guess. Powerful group of bandits. Oh no, it's something else. Killed the tax collector. That sucks so hard. We have a grand land decision. You can maybe move it. Can we? Click this away. Can we move you directly into the... Yeah, we will, eventually. Okay. They are still 7 units with 120 Comet power. Cadell commanding them. It's actually the Dehoi Bath fleet. And there are only three units here. Not sure what happened to the rebellion. Is he now going to attack us? It's actually a possibility. We need to go to Morganok. Okay, the surfs are uh, the Surface iron mining has been completed. Traders borrow for money is te very tempting. Needs stone trading required, can be imported. That gives lots of infrastructure. Gives some food. Freeman cottages give lots of health. Cost money, give manpower. I think I'll go for the uh, development cornerstone, structure construction, reduction 
infrastructure cost by 12% conditional to some categories. Having a stone waste in the community is a big advantage for the construction of solid multi-story buildings, including the construction of castles and fortifications. That's actually quite tempting. How many building slots do we still have here? Not many. Let's go for the stone mason. Four turns or five. Let's go for five. We have some growth. We go for money, please. Go for money. Okay. Grant land. Building the nation, this, is a, this decision will grant a small parcel of land to a minor noble or war veteran, thus creating a structure such as a baronial vessel or minor fiefdom. The region will still be owned by you, but you won't be able to remove such double-edged structure without the regional decision remove civilized. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Let's get the coin and so on instead. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay. Three authority, hooray. Uh, let's merge our armies. 40 combat power is obviously not much. Yeah, I misplayed this. Uh, absorb vessel. Okay, that's something I want to do. Must be 50 or better. Yeah, but they are not. How can we inc possibly increase relations? Offer a gift. Cancel that. Transaction. Can I just give them some metal? Will that help us? I do not know. Let's do eight to begin with and then we'll see. The se several signs tell us that the next few months will be particularly harsh. Received a new regional decision. Okay. We need some of them, that's for sure. But uh, main power is currently a bit low. Yeah. The Welsh mercenary footmen obviously don't cost manpower, that's interesting. They are mercenaries, but the noble cavalry costs their standing army, not mercenaries, okay. And the mercenary longbow men, they cost a lot. They don't cost manpower. Let's get one set of them. Oh, I clicked. Did I finish a building somewhere? I think not. Okay. Let's move this dude up here. If you see, remove hostiles. We now have a pretty good understanding of where Morgadic loyalty lies exactly now in 74. One open slot. 
Because of new population, that's good. A shoemaker. A leather workshop. Reduces equipment. Pilgrim's Refuge gives money and piety and legacy. Let's go for the Pilgrim's Refuge. There are some pilgrim routes obviously in Wales as well. Let's speed things up a little bit. How much? Can we speed them up? To two turns, let's do it. And here I do want to, if possible, recruit some troops. One noble cavalry. And some of them. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay, here we are. Without those text collector attempts, there was a six each, six lost authority each time. We'd have 12 more authority, that would be 16. We'd be here. A little bit away from 26. After long and ardent uh, negotiations, we, are, we have secured a trade deal. Yeah, it didn't help with relations, unfortunately. Offer a significant sum of money to steer relationships. Okay, so we can't do that with favorable trade deals. 80 money. But let's do it. We can maybe try to absorb them. Merrick is very loyal. Recruit local units. We are unable to produce enough sail ships as trading goods to transport our troops efficiently. Okay, that's a problem. Merge them. They probably have a power of 14 only. Let's send them and see what happens. It's a bit risky, I think, but still. Okay. After long... Okay, we have secured a trade deal. Village Queen has been completed. Nice. It's not really shown here. Am I clicking on the wrong one? No, I'm not. It's very weird. Food, equipment, clay pit. 
Change post, nice. Bonus from fruits. Rare bell. Hamlet. Gives lots of manpower. And a place to call home. Let's do that. Let's see how the sailing affects us. And we are still earning a lot of money, that's good. Rift of Leroy expressed his desire to smooth difference with the other standing gift of 80, good. Yeah, that really helped. Good. They have much more authority than we do. I want yeah, they should arrive next turn. That would that would be cool. Okay, we'll say it's allocating the Episcopal Bishopric to pious clergyman from Anglesey. Lovely. Is he new here? Maybe. We forged the land decision. Unable to draft enough, okay. Because we're building this small army here as well. Okay. We cannot build anything. And... Yeah, let's go. The thing is the turns on... Um, in the... In the... Scenario were much faster. Obviously there were much less players involved. And I'll be curious to find out um, how much faster the turns are on my laptop. And I'm not pausing now because there might be a battle up upon us. Didn't do anything the mouse is not even moving but luckily it's not freezing so very stable so far Byzantine Empire might be an interesting campaign as well not sure why they've got those colors um, maybe as leaders of the various worlds. Okay, so apparently next turn we land. And I wanted to play 25 turns, so that's actually... Well, actually 20, but I now make it 25. Burrow has been completed, and I don't think we can build anymore. Oh no, we can! Lovely! It was at the same time the growth, maybe? No. Not sure. We have the Weaver Shop, we're missing dice. We could trade for wool. Astronomer gives us a lot of legacy. Let's go for the Hamlet. Legumes can be imported. I mean, they need their legumes as well, but how many are they producing? Two. Okay. You can really click through everything and learn a lot by doing so. The interface in general is really good. Some, some stuff like that, we don't see the max equipment here now. Uh, I think that would be that would be good if we could see that. They're not building anything because they can, so let's change this. No one can build anymore, unfortunately, at the moment. From peasants to freemen, that's actually an interesting decision.
Oh, I just did it. But that's okay. The harbor region here. Okay, let's end the turn and now the battle should start. Enchanted. Okay, here we go. We have a better combat power, so we should win this. Let's just view it. Okay, it looks really close, actually. Not sure. Doesn't look too good somehow. Roll shit. Oh, I mean bad. Knights against knights and we roll horribly. We, we are also tired. No battle really is going in our favor. Yeah. There's no way we're going to win this. Almost everyone died. Celtic Rebels won the battle. Well, well. We're not ending on a high, but obviously I did all this with a civil war and stuff on purpose to showcase uh, some mechanics that um, we haven't seen in the uh, scenario playthrough. Also I wanted to learn as much as possible about how to play whales. And I think I need to play it way better. Also initially, like immediately t taking the Celtic settlement. At least we're almost as good as Prussia, the unstop unstable petty thief chiefdom. Probably still, uh, like, you know, not conquered yet. Now we lost this. They're in a severe situation, lack of supplies. A few dudes are left. Please come home. Mountain with Blizzard, great. They can't even land there. They need to land here, okay. Wait has agreed that some peasants will acquire their own land or workshops. And we have received a disorder token as well. In response to the need for greater defense, yeah, close seven. The battle has been fought. Yeah, and we can't build anything. Yeah, that's it. Fourth of June, you can uh, get the game, play better than me, learn the game. I've now played, I don't know, 10 showers or so. Yeah, no, 11, more than 11, plus, you know, a couple of hours with. Uh, uh, the battles, the technical battles, but still so much to learn. Thanks a lot for watching guys, until then, bye for now.